You have to be serious. I found this at a hobby shop today. It's a Hess truck. I don't know what year this was. Let's see what year this was made. Oh, it's got horn and backup alert, real head and taillights, two Energizer alkaline batteries. A total for 15 bucks, and you get a dual sound switch. I'm not sure what year this came out. Let's see if we can find it. 1990. It's not that old. I wonder if it has the batteries inside. I really want to see. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It just rolls right out of the box. I think it's our dude. It's already got the batteries. Oh, batteries don't look so good in there. Let me let me, let me look. Cause I got new ones in the house. Looks like we got a bit of rust going on, so we'll just take them out, get rid of them, get some new ones in there. Yuck. Yeah, we just gotta get new batteries in there. Really don't like touching these. Yeah, these things exploded. Yeah. Good gosh, look at this. Look at that, there are the two switches, one's for lights and one's for... Oh look, the, uh, the black switch has horn off and, and alert. So you can actually just leave it on, you don't press a button or anything, so you can just leave it on constantly. So this thing was played with, but in fantastic shape, I mean look at this. For 15 bucks, just look at this. Oh, cool car. Yeah, this truck's pretty cool. I have another one. It's a Tex Texaco truck, I think. And I found this. Oh, and, oh yeah, take C batteries. I got, I got six of those. So I'm just going to go inside and grab some new batteries for this toy. While I dispose of these rather disgusting ones. Yuck. All right, got the new batteries. Let's go ahead and put them in the truck. I think the person that owned that just didn't play with it and the batteries kind of rusted out, but we got new batteries, so let's see if it works. Yeah, the toys back in the day took C batteries. Yeah, the spring looks like it's still <sighs> intact. Let's go and get some new ones in there. Huh, the spring is still there. Got the lights on. Maybe it's just kind of hard to see them. Uh oh. I think the spring might have rusted out, but we can fix it. So, you know. Ew. So, yeah, it just needs some cleaning. But, yeah, I bet I can fix this. Yeah, look at all that gunk in there. Let's see if we can get a brush and clean it. Let's see. Uh, no, we don't need a paintbrush. Just the... Uh... Oh. Yeah, the brush I used to clean the... Uh... I guess I'll just be using my bare hands to clean the junk out of this thing. So you can see the spring in there. The spring looks... Absolutely terrible. Just not getting a good connection. Just all rusted out. It's not getting a good connection. Yeah. Two C's. These are C batteries. Oh, maybe there's tape on it. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of tape on this battery. It's from like a science experiment I did with it. Alright, now let's see if it works. Nothing. Lights don't work. I think it just needs to be fixed. But other than that, I got other things I want to show you. So this thing needs to go to the repair shop and get fixed. But I got other things. I got an HO scale train and, an, and a new controller. So I'll show you the train real quick. Here's the train I got. I got a discount because it was missing one of the trucks. That's why they gave me a discount of it. Ah, they just rolled this whole thing up in paper. I gotta unroll this. This whole thing. 
See? The original price was 20 and he gave it to me for 15 And he says it works. Oh, it's Union Pacific. See, one of the trucks is missing on it. It looks like it works. I mean, the note said the light works, so there's the light up there. And both couplers are intact. One's a little crooked, though. So, the locomotive's a pass. And then I got the tow truck. I just need new batteries. Then the control. I had an other one when I was, uh, like, last year, but it broke. So I decided, why not get a new one? It's so simple. Look at this. Fast, slow, and then off in the middle. How simpler can it get? Off. Oh, it reverse. So that's what I love about these older remotes. Oh, it's 6 volts. 16 volts. There's a note on it. Let's see what it says. AC okay, DC okay. Cord good. So I guess it works. So I got, yeah, I, yeah, I got wires. And a track that can accommodate this. Oh, and I had a good day.